Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to get my everyday makeup for school and outfit for school and hair for school and I hope you guys really enjoy it because it's really natural and I think it actually brings out all my features and stuff. So I'm going to start off with the Maybelline Dream Nude Foundation and mine is about two shades dar darker than my skin tone and a lot of people at my school like to wear a darker foundation than their skin tone so I always like to follow how they like to do everything like I'm a really big follower when it comes to makeup so I'm just gonna take um, a few squirts of this all over my face and you just want to have like um, a really good shade because darker than your skin tone just because it's starting to change seasons and you want to, um, you know, blend in with everyone else. So I'm just going to kind of rub that in. Since now that is all blended, I'm going to take my Everyday Natural palette. And this is the Smashbox Brown Eyes palette. And it has a lot of nice colors. And I usually don't like to use primer because I really like it to crease during the day. So... I'm taking these colors and I'm going to take the middle brown color right now. I'm just going to take this with my finger because I feel like I always have to like wing it with my own eyeshadow and I usually don't like to use a mirror because um, it gives it more of an effortless look. So I just take this on the lid and sometimes it's a little bit lighter and sometimes it's darker on each eye. They're turning inside out And it's bringing me down Cause I never say what I wanna say And sometimes fallout is okay um, Sometimes it's okay But um, for this case it's, it's pretty natural So I'm just gonna take this blue color with another finger Cause you don't want to use the same finger that you already did And I'm just gonna apply this to the inner corners So right in my eyes Okay, so that's about it that I do for um, eyeshadow because, like I said, it's a natural look. Um, apply mascara and all that kind of stuff. I really like to make my lips pop and let the stuff soak in. So I'm using a Revlon lip butter, and this is in the shade of what is this in the shade of raspberry pie. It's a really uh, nude color, so I'm just gonna apply this. And um, a lot of people at my school like to uh, exaggerate it just a little bit over your lips. So you kind of get an Alice in Wonderland feel. Again, it's really neutral. And then I take a MAC Cream Blush. Um, it's just like an orange blush I could find because um, I can't, I'm not really allowed to get spray tans, but a lot of people like to get spray tans at my school. And they love to get that orange glowy feel. So I just take a creamy eye, creamy um, blush just to get that same effect. And I really like to drag it from my lip bone right there. You try to run, and I don't really like to blend it very well, but I will blend it today just for you guys. If this is real, if this is something that I can feel, I got it, you want it, time to make your move, you see it. Okay, so that's about good. Um, I'm almost done with this natural look. It's just needs a little bit of mascara. I don't really like to um, apply that much, and I really don't like to um, curl my lashes either because I feel that that gives it an unnatural feel. So I just apply my mascara. This is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. And I like to take the tip and individually go through each and every lash. And sometimes the lashes will get so long that they'll touch my eyeshadow, which is a really good thing that we want. Because then it'll get really clumpy and that's like the new generation of makeup. Clumpiness. So. Let's just get this a little. And now I'm sitting here wondering. I got it, you want it. It's the last chat do you So since
comments. I get always a lot of comments on YouTube saying that um, my eyebrows are really light for my hair shade. I always like to um, take my same mascara. Shoot, that's a huge bead. Okay, it's gone. I like to take my mascara and I just kind of like to comb through my eyebrows because people always comment on how light they are. There we go. Um, it's okay if they're a little uneven because everyone's unique in their own way and you just need to let that show. So this is basically uh, my makeup for uh, every day. I take and split half my hair like this. And I take half of the this section. I like to take these um, flat iron clips and I usually just like clip it in the back and twist it and then it kind of falls to the other side. And then I take the opposite like pattern because I like to clash things very badly. And I twist it and this time since the other one went in the back, this one's gonna go in the front. There is now for my, my outfit. Everyday. I really like to um, make here. things match very well. So I take this jacket by Tolly. It's a really beige color. Um, it's just like this Australian kind of jacket. I don't know where it's from. I think it's from Ross. Um, and I really like to um, wear things that are opposite from the season. So right now it is spring. So I really like to wear fall outfits during the spring. So let's scoot this back a little bit. And um, right now I'm just wearing my love pink shirt and I just have a little bit of my tank top slash um, whatever showing. Um, this is just a light pink shirt. And then down here, whoa, you need to go down. And then down here, I just have a nice um, skirt. It's actually a shirt, but I thought um, I could like pair it as a skirt because it kind of looks like a skirt. So I paired it, this love pink shirt with these skirts. I really like to pair this purple um, Dulce and Giovanna purple thing. It really matches with pink and um, I'm just going to kind of show you what's a little bit in it right now. Um, well, first it has this paper. Um, it says... Music by Katie Sky. Right words run in sweet, sweet melody eyes remix. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and happy April Fools.